YouTube. Welcome back to Dynasty Bulls. I got a special little video for y'all, man. Y'all probably seen videos like this, but <clears throat> I'm gonna show y'all mine just in case, you know. At least, you know, from years from now, whatever, y'all can see that I actually did one for y'all. We just start two feeding. And once you do it, it's pretty simple to do. So, um, I'm going to take y'all through the steps of how we do it. Uh, I ain't perfect with it or nothing by any means. But we do it enough for it to work, man. Y'all can see my hands. You know, I used to be, used to be a hand model. But, uh, <laughs> but yeah, uh, you ain't going to see it. I ain't going to bless y'all with my, my face in this video. You know what I'm saying? It be like that sometimes. But uh, this is LaMail off of uh, BMF. And my girl, my newer newer female Reese's, she a chocolate try. Uh, obviously, I'm gonna post the pictures up there before I do the video, before I show y'all two feet. But uh, yeah, it's just gonna be mainly focused directly on the puppy and stuff. And uh, I got my milk replacer right here. I'm gonna give y'all that uh, that recipe on it that my wife does. Um, matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and get that to y'all now. Right now, uh, what we do is um. 12 ounces of goat milk replacement. Um, <clears throat> we put that on the stove top. So you can always, you can get it pre-mixed or you can, uh, you know, mix it yourself just to make out 12 ounces of uh, milk replacement. Just make sure it's goat milk or, you know, something for uh, for dogs, like puppies or whatever. Uh, you don't need no cat milk, no catnip or nothing like that. So uh, you're going to need 12 ounces of goat milk replacement, one egg. Egg yolk. Egg yolk. One egg yolk. I tried to get her to do the video, but she don't want to do it. But <laughs> uh, then you get you some whole milk yogurt. Just make sure it's uh, unflavored or whatever. Just uh, make sure it's uh, fat, full like full of fat. And you're going to need one cup of that uh, full fat yogurt and uh, some caro syrup. You don't need a lot of caro syrup. It ain't really down to a science on the measurement of it, but, you know, just a little bit, like a little dab. Maybe about a teaspoon or something like that. Not much of a carrot syrup. That's just to keep them. Ain't that like that sugar, I think? Um, something like that. I mean, you can do your research on that, too. I ain't... Then, and as a disclaimer, don't take this advice as, as the gospel. Um, I'm not a vet or anything. This is just how we do it. So um, Then you'll need, like, a... For this puppy right here, he's, he's pretty small. He's, like, uh, 14 ounces. He getting stronger though and all that stuff, but uh, for him we've been using, and this is a bully, bully puppy, we've been using like a, a eight to a eight size to, you see he's ready to eat, so. He been pretty, pretty, he been doing better since we got him. Uh, like I said, this was a premium puppy and we've been two feeding him. He ain't got too big cause we've been trying to let him feed on his mama just to see, you know, let him bond and all that stuff. Uh, but like I say, man, he, he coming along pretty good. He just had a steady birth weight, so uh, we're just going to start two-feeding him throughout the day. Uh, I mean, even though it's night right now, uh, I mean, you don't know that, but I'm telling you now, it's night right now, but we're going to uh, feed him tonight. And uh, also, I got to clip his nails, so you may get a, a little video of me clipping his nails at the end or whatever, if I can get my uh, clippers. But uh, you'll need a syringe, uh, preferably try to get you a 20 mil. Just depending on how big your puppy is, so you're gonna do and with the syringe, this syringe is for to suck up your um, your milk replacement. This little concoction that we put together, uh, it's gonna be one milliliter or one cc per ounce of the puppy. So how you you get your little food scale, uh, weigh your puppy um, in ounces, and then you know if even if it come like the 14 point something, just uh, it'll be 14 ounces. And then so it'll be milliliters on here. So if he was, well, he 14. So as you can see, where well, it's kind of rubbed off, but this is a milliliter, 20 milliliter. And then you see the 15 right here. So if he 14, I'm gonna put it right there. So when you uh, suck up this, suck up this uh, milk replacement, you want to make sure you don't get any air or air bubbles or anything. Right now I got the, um, I got the tube sitting in there so it can get a little soft 
and get a little warm. So when he take it in, either you can do it through the tube or you can take it straight through the syringe and uh, get the milk replacement. Uh, I do either or, it just depends on how I'm feeling. But like I say, I mean, if you can, if you got the time, mm -hmm. if you got the time, you can uh, soak soak this um, tube in there and uh, get it soft, which is just, it kind of helps. And it, and it kind of put a little coating on it to help them eat, you know, get the taste of it and stuff. But I'm going to go ahead and suck this up. I don't want to make the video too long. But if you know how to suck up stuff in a syringe, you want to put the syringe in there and you suck it up. I go a little bit more because nine times out of 10, you're going to get air in there. Well, a lot more, obviously, but you're going to get air in there. As you can see, it's air in here. So I'm going to turn it up and squeeze this little air out. Get these little air bubbles out. If you ever given a shot or anything, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get that in the camera, but you see you whining. He's smelling, you know, he's hungry. So get the little air bubble out. And you still gonna have to do it through the tube too. So I'm gonna hook the tube up. Make sure you get your syringe where you can hook this tube on. Uh, this this syringe came with these tubes, so uh, we got a little pack off Amazon. So uh, I can't really tell you exactly what what type of syringe to get, but like I said, let me speed this video up. So you gonna you gonna hold the syringe up, obviously. Uh, like I said, if you've done any type of shot or anything, you got kids, or you ever been to the doctor, if they, if they um, fill the shot up in front of you, you're gonna get all the air bubbles out because you don't want air in there. It's, it's, it's no good if you got air in there. But you can see, I'm gonna get it on down to 14. That's why I put extra in there so I can get all the air out of this tube. Uh, this is a new angle, so y'all don't get on me for uh, <laughs> not being able to see it. So uh, I'm gonna get it on down to 14, or at least right over 14. He been eating a little bit, so I mean, if if I get under that, it's okay. But yeah, it's right it's right around fourteen. Uh, if you saw that fifteen and it eased up, I'm trying to jump off the counter, man. But yeah, we are gonna move that um, move this bowl out the way. And I'm gonna go ahead and feed this tube down. Now, when you feed this tube, you want to try to go down the left side of the puppy. Uh, to get down to the esophagus. You don't want to get into the airway because you can uh, you can drown your puppy. So it's good when he start licking it down like that. Now, don't be, I mean, if it take a little time, don't be ashamed to come back out. Um, I'm going to show y'all the measurement of this thing after I do it, but we got a mark on here um, that's going to his last rib. But like I said, I'm going to show y'all that after. I just want to go ahead and show y'all this. But I'm going to put it out with this mark right here. And I'm going to hold them like this. And I'm going to pinch them. Either you can pinch them or you can pull back on the syringe like this. And if you get any, make sure it's not getting any air in there. You want friction or, you know, wanted to pull against it uh, if you're pulling back on it. So I'm pulling back on it. It's not moving at all. So I know I'm in a good spot. But just for good measure. You want to pinch your little puppy, make sure he make a little sound, like he cry something, so you know you're down the right too. If you don't holler at all, that means you in the airway, which I mean you'll know you in the airway anyway. But he's like one of the ones that don't want to holler at all. I know I got the friction, but he should holler. As far as you know, when I pulled on the tube, I didn't get in the air or nothing. He's not really a hollerer. A whiner or nothing too much, so he may or may not whine for you. And you gotta pinch him pretty good anyway. But he's so used to it, he may not holler. So, Let's see if I can get him. But well, he ain't gonna holler. But as y'all saw, I did that. Um, the little um pull on the syringe and I didn't get any any air because when you get air you can tell it, it'll move real quick or whatever uh, on the syringe so but I'm gonna go ahead and feed him like I don't I don't feel like he get it's in his uh in his airway and then try my best to make him holler but I've done it we've done it so many times so we pretty much good at it so only thing about a, a strong puppy, if you got like a stronger puppy as they get stronger, they're going to fight you a little bit, but you want to feed it to them real slow. 
or at least slow-ish. You don't want to just blast it in a, and obviously you want to make sure it's um, it's warm. You don't want to give a dog, a puppy, uh, cold milk or, hot, or too hot milk because they'll aspirate or, they, you know, any type of problems. I mean, would you want something real hot going into your stomach? And as I'm talking, I'm feeding it so I can kind of get the video out the way. Uh, I'm on about 10 minutes now, but as you can see, he's still licking, so I know it's in his stomach. And he making little noises. You may not, may or may not hear him. I should have showed y'all his stomach before I fed him, but I'm gonna show y'all after uh, that is a full stomach. And I may, yeah, I may, I may or may not give him all this, um, just cause like I said, he had been eating already, and he's getting a little full. But I'm gonna go ahead and give the rest of him. He ain't too full. He shouldn't be. If he too full, though, uh, it'll come out, but. And that um, and that's 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 that basically. And you kind of want to rub him or something, you know, a little bit just to get him a little active. And he's full. Uh, his stomach is full. You should see a little wide belly like that when you get done feeding your uh, tooth feeding your puppy. Ah, uh, we used to bottle feeding all this stuff, but this tooth feeding kind of the spoils is real quick when you do it. Uh, I mean, it's it's taking a little time because I'm doing a tutorial. But uh, at the same time, it's, it's real quick, especially when you got to get up every two hours and feed your puppy. But as far as that measurement, you're going to want to measure, feel for this last rib, which it'll be easier if he was empty. But his last rib is like right here. You can feel it. You ain't trying to boo-boo, is you? You can feel it when you're uh, feeling on the puppy. It'll get, you know, you can, obviously you can feel a rib on yourself, like the bottom of your rib when you feel your body. And uh, you want to measure from that last rib. You want to put the tip on that last rib. And then you want to go all the way up the neck to the tip of the nose. Which when he actually stretched out, as you can see, that black mark come. Hold on, let me see. That black mark pretty much come right to the tip of his nose. Well, hold on, let me see. And he's curved, so I'm curving it <laughs> with his neck. So you're running up up him. Either you can go up under his neck, or you can do whatever. Uh, however, you need to do it to stretch him, stretch him out to get it up to the tip of his nose. So it'll go from that last rib, as you can see, my thumb is on his last rib, and then it's running all the way up his neck. You want to either go on the outside of his, of his uh, face, or you can go directly up under up under his body. And then you'll hold that at the tip. Once you get that to the tip of his nose, you hold it there. And you'll put you a little black mark, um, get you a little Sharpie or something. And uh, usually when we do the first initial feeding, we really want to get a colostrum in them. Because like, if you got a newborn puppy, you want to get that colostrum in them because it gives him everything that he needs as far as his immune system and all that good stuff uh, to make it. Basically, you get that colostrum. Basically, is is not good for life, but it's, it's, it helps him with everything he needs. It comes from his mama out of nutrients. It's like a thick yellow, basically like this, kind of in a way. Um, it's like a yellow milk that comes out as soon as the, as soon as the puppy comes out of the mama. So, um, builds their immune system. It builds it, yeah. Basically, what I said, build their immune system, be give them immunity. It's a real thick yellow milkish. So, uh, you want to get that in them first. Um, if anything, your mama, your mama dog, if like, if you got a dog, like, um, hopefully you don't get a, a newborn, newborn in the moment in the past, which I mean, nine times out of 10, especially if she gave natural birth, she should have some type of milk in there. I mean, I hate for you to try to milk a, a, a dead mother if she didn't pass or whatever, but you need to get that colostrum. If not, they got supplements out there that you can get, um, uh, from revival and all that stuff too. So, um, it's like a. Nutri, or well not? Yeah, it could be. I think it is it Nutricare. Yeah. I think it's Nutricare, and then they got like a colostrum too. Uh, you can go on Revival and find it. Uh, if I if I find it, I'll post a picture up at this at this point in the video. Um, but yeah, you can give them that. It give them a little boost and stuff. 
And which even if you don't get the even if they get the colostrum, I kind of like to get that to them too. If I if I got the tool on hand, I got some extra. Um, but yeah, you can just give a, give the appropriate amount and scoop it up in the top of their mouth. They'll lap it up easily. Um, but yeah, um, it's real simple in a way. Once you get used to it, like I say, it ain't really nothing to it, but to do it. We was a little nervous the first time we did it, which I understand that completely. Cause I mean. Who wouldn't be? Because if you it's it's one tube or the other two, uh, you can either go down the esophagus or you can go down the lungs, and you can mess your dog and you can kill kill your puppy. So it's it's really tedious if you don't get it right. Like I say, most puppies they'll holler, or you know not holler, but they'll yelp, make a little whining noise if you pinch them. Or like I say, if you can't get them to do that, make sure when you pull back on the syringe, because you can see now I don't have it in them, so it's it's air in the air. Like uh, it's out of them, so it's in the air, so it'll pull back easy, like that. It'll pull back like that if you get inside of them, and it don't have no friction. Like when I did it, like when it was in the right spot, it didn't pull back at all. So when I'm out, actually, you know, in the airway, when you pull it back, it's gonna do what it's doing now. It's gonna pull air out, obviously, if you're in the airway. Which, like I say, it's pretty. It's common sense in a way. But then again, if you haven't done it, it don't seem like uh, common sense or whatever. Um, and we also give this puppy support. Like if you got like a weak puppy, uh, it's about dog's arms, puppy support. Uh, let me see. It's a source of probiotics, prebiotics, glucose, electrolytes, colostrum, vitamins, and minerals. And it's it's kind of like a it kind of hippy puppy shake back. You know what I'm saying? Like if he if he about to die or something, it's like a kind of that. That, that thing that's gonna bring him straight on back. You can mix it in the milk too, so he can actually get it. Like you mix it into that, them doses or however many doses you do, like every so often through the night or whatever, between them two hour doses, man, uh, you wanna mix it into that milk. Um, all the directions on the back of it, it's a little dirty. But uh, if you can read that, if not, uh, pause it and, and read that. Or just purchase it. I mean, it's, it's something good to always have on hand, no no matter what, you know. Especially you, you talking about weapon puppies and all that good stuff. So it's a little dirty because we actually use it. There ain't no brand new thing. So uh, it's called Puppy Support by Dog Zines. And we also use the Puppy Back. It's it's the same Dog Zine brand. It's just Puppy Back. It's a little bit bigger. That's the milk replacement we actually use. I'm just waiting on it to come in. So we had to get some uh, milk from the co op, the little. It's Sibylac -like or whatever you call it. I ain't trying to be 100% on that, but I don't use it like that. So it just so happened we got a lot of puppets we weapon and stuff. So we just ran out of it. Um, we weren't prepared. Like I say, we've been moving all that stuff, but that's neither here nor there. However people say it, you know. But uh, I mean, that's a quick tutorial on him. And as you can see, he ready to go to sleep. He coming along good, man. Uh, <clears throat> Like I said, we just gonna start supplementing him a little more just so he can actually gain more weight again and actually get fat, get some fat out of the milk and all that good stuff. So uh, I don't really know what's going on with our milk. I mean, he eating off of it, but he ain't really gaining. So it, it's, it's really kind of critical. I mean, to me, I be, you know, I'm kind of laid back anyway, so I don't really be kind of just worrying about it too much. I worry about it, but I don't just think about it like that because I kind of, I done done it a lot too, a lot of weapon and stuff too. I mean, I ain't not to say that my wife haven't, but I kind of do a little bit more. I pay a little bit more attention, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, she over there looking at me crazy, but I pay a little. You know, like I'm I'm pretty good at weapon for the most part. Uh, I mean, I not to say that she not, but at the same time, like I do pay. I, I I know a little bit, and she know a little bit too. So some stuff I don't know, she know, and some stuff she don't know, I know. So we uh, trade off like that. Um, but hopefully I'll stay long on this video, man. I think I covered everything. I got my little notepad so I wouldn't miss nothing, you know what I'm saying? So y'all got to give it up for me on that one. So we're going to try to do more educational videos, man. I, I told y'all I was going to do that um, color video. I'll be coming out with that soon. And uh, if you want to see a nail trim, man, give me just a second. Let me pause it real quick. So, yeah. Um, you can either use, like, when you got, if you had a baby before, you can use these little bitty little safety things if it's gonna you know help you out or you can just get you a little small actual nail clipper 
It's real simple. I mean, like, I don't... To me, I don't understand why people don't do it. But at, at the end of the day, it's not my dog, so I really don't care. But all our dogs gonna have their nails pretty much clipped when you get them or when you see them, so... Uh, I had done one before, but I didn't post it. So, let me see if I can get them on there. That nail, you see that little curve right down the nail? Right down the curve. All you really gotta do is clip the little tip in off of it. I'm gonna clip it and I'm gonna show it back to you. I mean, you ain't even gotta go that far. It's just really just to get the little sharp piece off of it because these nails pretty sharp. Oh, this is a messed up one, but... Uh, them nails pretty sharp on the mama. But I mean, that's it's for a reason. It, it, it's kind of an indicator to let you know that they're eating good. So all I did was, let me see if I can find that nail. If not, you can see. Let me see. Focus. See that tip in gone? It's as simple as that. And as they get older, that quick is going to, as, as long as you keep doing this, like every week or every, every time it starts curving and getting sharp, uh, you can do the same. Uh, we do the same thing, obviously, on the dew claw. Which is um, on up their leg. If you don't know what a dew claw is, it's this extra little nail, little claw on the puppy that's right here, where my where the point of my finger is, right there. But as they grow, the quick, which is like you know, like on your fingernail, you got the skin up under your nail. You know, you can clip your fingernail, and all this little pink meat back here. That's what they got on they on they on they uh claw, and that's called the quick on them. If you hit that quick, you can bleed bleed the dog out. Well, not bleed them out, but it'll, they'll bleed. Which I mean, you can stop it up as long as you don't go too far. If you just clip the tip in, you good. But I ain't never had the problem as far as going too far, cause I mean, I guess I was pretty cautious. But when you clip your fingernail, obviously you don't want to hit that pink meat. Obviously, I mean, if you if you done, done it before, it, it hurt it hurt like hell. So. Um, imagine that times 10 for a puppy, especially if they ain't do it themselves. So it, <laughs> like if you clipping your kid in there and you clip too far, it's going to hurt even worse because they didn't do it themselves. So, but yeah, when you're clipping your fingernails, which I, you know, I got them, them nice nails. So I ain't, I can't even show you my nail, you know, they already clipped back, but I was, that's basically the same thing you're doing. You want to get it right there real low. So, uh, I don't get Manic, what is it called? Yeah, manicure. I don't get none of that stuff. I do my own nails. I bite my nails and all that stuff. So, uh, but yeah, you gonna clip it like that. I mean, it's real simple. So, like I say, I don't understand why people don't do it, but at the same time, it's not my dog. And uh, you know, we gonna do our dogs how we wanna do our dogs. So, uh, hey, it is what it is, man. Hopefully, they come to you clip when the vet clip them, but we gonna clip our own. I mean, I don't want that extra charge because some vets wanna charge it for it. So, I mean, it's real. It's real simple just to do so. And if you get it wrong, that puppy gonna yelp. But all you're really doing is getting that little sharp piece off of there. And he's old enough, he a week. We really, I, I start like a week old. And sometimes they don't wanna clip straight off, so I switch, switch to the other. I think that is the one I messed up, but. I don't know if you can see it. I ain't even looking at the camera. I'm trying to make sure I don't nip them, so. And some of them may be short, so you ain't gotta, just 100% be on it every week if they don't grow like that i mean which i mean they may not be getting nutrients because your nails gonna grow when you're getting the right nutrients and stuff so uh that's kind of it's kind of a it kind of tell you that too so i ain't saying to let these long nail dogs go when you get them but but yeah that's that's my uh <laughs> that's my video man hopefully y'all learned something from that man i how to two feet a puppy little dude gonna be a monster man i promise you but yeah, man, that's how you tool feed, man. Uh, if I if I miss something, man, y'all can come in below and let me know what I missed or whatever. Uh, hopefully I didn't, but at the same time, it's just an impromptu video. I just thought about doing it because it was time to feed him, so. And I hadn't done one since he been here. So, uh, yeah, man, y'all just uh, check the video, man. Hope y'all stay to the end of the video. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and clip these back nails, too. You do the front and the back, so. Uh, I'm going to get with y'all in the next video, man. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Peace out. Tony Dice, the Bull signing out, man. Appreciate y'all for watching my video. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Like I say, man, I'm not a vet, so don't take this over your vet advice, man. Hopefully, if you can show your vet this video and see if they approve of it or not, then you know that'll work too. So, um, but yeah, y'all have a good day, man. I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Y'all have a blessing.